What's up everyone, Zach Seif here, and today we're going to be comparing the Mesa Boogie Vertical 212 to the Horizontal 212. So a couple days ago, I was rearranging the studio, moving some cables and stuff around, and noticed that standing my horizontal 212 cabinet vertical saved a lot of space, and it, as you've seen in a couple of videos now, that's usually how I keep it. However, one thing that I've been running into is the fact that my cables get messy and it's hard to kind of navigate them. And I miss having it horizontally because then I can store my cables underneath and then everything looks a little bit neater and it's more efficient for the studio. Well, lo and behold, I remembered that Mesa does indeed make a vertical version of their 212 cabinet and it's more different than the horizontal version than you may think. So not only is the cab obviously taller, but the speaker position is obviously different as well. And instead of having the two speakers, you know, parallel to each other this way, you have them stacked vertically and there's a slant in the grill cloth so that the projection and the disbursement of the sound is different in each of the cabinets. For example, on stage, the horizontal cabinet spreads out that way and that way as well, but it's on the floor. So as a guitar player, you have to be pretty far away to hear it, and it's very hard to judge what your tone actually sounds like with a horizontal cabinet. Versus the vertical cabinet, which is up a little bit better, and the baffle is slanted, so it's easier for you to hear what's going on, and this way it projects not as much wide, but over and up and out that way. So it will give you a slightly different feel and sound, and today I figured we would put both of those to the test and see which one you prefer yourselves. Now a disclaimer, this is only my demo with my gear, and through your different speakers and stuff, it's going to sound different. The best way to tell which of these two cabinets would be right for you is to obviously get your hands on both of them and conduct the test yourself with your own gear in your own home studio. So without any further ado, let's go check out this A-B comparison between the two Mesa Boogie cabinets. So now we've heard the vertical 212 cabinet by itself with no post-processing. In order to make sure that I could get as fair of a comparison as possible between both cabinets, I taped down the microphone stand and measured how far the microphone was from the speaker itself. I determined that the 57 placed on the vertical cabinet was two finger lengths apart and the microphone was on axis directly in front of the cone. And this is to eliminate as many variables as possible. So I use the exact same guitar, cable, pick, strings, signal chain, etc. 
couple things to point out though that are major factors and the differences between these speaker cabinets are the dimensions. The horizontal 212 cabinet comes in at 61 pounds, is about 17 and a half inches tall, 30 inches wide, and 14 inches deep. Whereas the vertical 212 is 75 pounds, about 28 inches tall, 24 inches wide, and 14 inches deep. This is going to have an impact on the tone, even though both cabinets are made of the same components and wood. And the final thing to point out is the fact that the horizontal 212 has been heavily gigged over the past couple of years, whereas the vertical cabinet is brand new off the floor from a store. So with these factors in mind, I made sure to get everything as close as possible, but this is definitely something to consider if you are looking into both of these cabinets yourself. So there we go, that was the Mesa Boogie Vertical 212 and the Horizontal 212 cabinet. We A-B'd them, we checked out how each of those sounds, both in a mix and by themselves, on a couple different channels from my Mesa Boogie JP2C Plus head. Leave your thoughts and comments below, tell me which one you preferred, which one you think you might own, or if you have a different guitar cabinet that you prefer, be sure to let me know. As always, if you subscribe, it helps me out a ton. You know, I've been putting a ton of effort into this YouTube channel and I love the feedback and the compliments I'm getting from you all, as well as the constructive criticism to try to make some better videos for you all to enjoy in the future. As always, keep on rocking, keep on practicing, stay safe.